if there's anything I can say with this episode of Scum's Wish is that this series is really living up to its name. This is just a bunch of characters who are complete scum who have their own insane wishes. I mean, this is gonna sound like an insult, but it's not, as this is the series' greatest strengths. The characters are horrible. Like, seriously, they are all horrible and despicable, and the ones that aren't horrible, I can tell are going to get horrible later on. As if we look at this right now, we have this fake romance, this fake relationship that everyone thinks is the best of all time in this school. They are the perfect couple, but it isn't real. And of course, one of them, it could be the female, could be the male, one of them is going to hurt the other at some point. One of them is going to fall for each other. I just feel like that's going to happen, maybe it won't, but I feel like one of them is going to break the other's heart at some point. We have pretty much two or three love triangles going on. We have this female who is friends with our main female. I forget their names, but she loves her in a sexual way, and now she's attacking her in her bed, making out with her, and who knows where that's going to go. But the worst thing in this episode to me was when... We're looking at this girl who has two boyfriends, and she can't pick which one she wants to be with. When I was watching that scene, I was just like, you motherfuckers. You don't have two boyfriends. You have a boyfriend. You don't pick. You don't pick the best. You have your boyfriend. You are complete scum. It just angered me so much watching that scene, but that's why I like this series. As though it's just horrible with its cast of characters, it really is so entertaining. And, like, people are gonna think, like, I'm shitting on the series. No, the characters are just horrible, and the ones that aren't horrible, I can tell are going to get horrible later on. But that's why I'm interested, is I want to see what these horrible characters are going to do to each other, and it's fascinating. That's one of the main reasons why I'm going to refuse to get connected to any character in this series, as after this episode, it just kind of confirms that this title, Scum's Wish in the English translation, we're going to see a lot of scummy bastards in this series, and this episode, it just really kind of confirmed everything. We have so many love triangles, so many fake relationships, so many weird romances going on all at the same time. I'm going to refuse to get connected to any character in this series because I don't don't want to get connected to a character and think oh yeah they're really nice and either a they turn into a complete sleazeball or the person they like just crushes them in a horrible way with cheating or something like that but as long as i can just keep myself away from liking a character and just being fascinated with them i'm gonna have a great time with this series as i really am enjoying this series i didn't enjoy it as much as the first episode because the first episode to me was a little shocking as i wasn't expecting something as good as it was but this was pretty much equal to the first episode in my opinion visually it stuck to its style that was really damn good it does something really interesting with the visuals. I did mention it last week with the whole kind of postcard pictures where they'll frame a character's thought and kind of pan out through it, which is a really nice touch. But they do something that's really incredible that really sticks out in the second episode and really didn't in the first episode, but it's how it romanticizes shots. They make things look so romantic and beautiful to then show a character's true side, be it them being scummy bastards to them having impure thoughts. It's something that's really interesting with how the visuals work with the actual script to really enhance the overall product and why something like this works better in anime than it would in something like film, like live action film or something like that, as they'll show these really romantic shots and then pan out and show, oh, this person is actually not that great of a person or they're actually thinking of this person. It's a really interesting twist in how they do everything with that and it really adds to the immersion to the series. And I thought it's a really interesting touch that they went with with, and I think Lurch is doing a phenomenal job with the visual presentation and honestly looks the most different from any series I think they've ever done. I do really think though if people get connected to any particular character they're going to get either mad or have their heart broken at some point because I don't see how this series is going to get better in terms of oh there is actually a true relationship and if that happens someone's going to steal them away, someone's heart's going to get broke or they're just going to be despicable. I think that's what this anime is going for. I have no knowledge of the source material. Please no spoilers, but that's where I see it's going, and that's why I'm going to keep my mindset in a place of, I'm fascinating in watching these characters, but I refuse to get connected to any of these characters, because if I do, I'm probably just going to get pissed off. <laughs> but, because I'm in this mentality, I had a phenomenal time with this, you know? I really enjoyed this episode, despite it being so horrible with certain situations, like that whole cheating conversation that they had at that cafe, I'm sitting here like, 
what is wrong with people? How could you talk like this? But of course, that is going to happen, sadly, in the real world. I'm glad I don't associate myself with people like that. But it is such a really solid episode to me, from the visuals to the audio to everything in between. I thought it was a really great episode and really showed you how bad and just how much just sickness we are going to witness with this series. I think we're in for a twisted ride. I think this is definitely going to be the twisted romance of the season. But everyone is just horrible in this series to me. And if they're not horrible yet... I feel like they will at some point. So for anyone who watched this episode, how are you liking it? Do you agree with me? This cast is just scummy from head to toe, and the people that are normal right now are probably going to be twisted later on, because that's how I see this going after this episode. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and as always, hit that like button if you did enjoy the video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. So until next time, everyone, please take care and have a good one.